y'all it's kennedy simone here and i am back again with another video if you can't tell from the title i am going to be doing a video about how to survive the communal bathrooms in college i know it's scary you know it sounds gross but we're gonna get through this together i know i did so I'm going to help you guys out. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to be a part of Ken's crew because we're the best crew. And I just want to share a couple of things with y'all about my personal experience with communal bathrooms. So I had to share my communal bathroom with my whole floor in my dorm. It had about 10 showers and 10 stalls and about 16 sinks and mirrors. Mind you, it was about 60 girls on the floor. So it wasn't like that's a lot compared to the amount of girls we had on our floor. Also, we had a shower curtain. Then we had a changing area with like a bench and like a hook. For most of them and then we had another shower curtain after the bench and then it was the actual shower so it wasn't like there was no place to change out of your clothes into like the shower so that definitely helped i don't know if every college has that or every dorm has that but we did so that helped us a lot coming from home where i had my own bathroom and shower and all that kind of stuff I thought it was going to be very difficult to adjust. It kind of was because some people don't have the same home training as you guys or like the same standards of living or cleanliness. So it's a little different. You have to adjust. But definitely these tips that I'm about to tell you guys will definitely help you. So let's just get right into it. So a few things that you're going to need if you have a community shower or if you're sharing a bathroom with anybody at all, honestly. I would definitely recommend shower shoes. This is the number one essential thing. You'll probably hear this a lot, but it's definitely essential. You need it, even if you share it with one other person. But definitely in a community shower, you need shower shoes. It's an absolute must. You don't want to get any fungus, infections. I don't know what you'll get. I don't, I've always used shower shoes. But you don't want to risk it. Let's use shower shoes every time you step foot in that bathroom okay so another thing is a shower caddy i go into more depth about what you should put in your shower caddy or what i put in my shower caddy and some tips for living in a community bathroom in my what's in a shower caddy video i'll put it right here definitely check that out if you want to see what i kept in there but a shower caddy is a must you don't want to have too many things in your hand and you don't want to have to like pick out every single thing you need for every trip to the bathroom it's just all in one it's right there ready for you to pick it up and go so it's super easy um i would definitely recommend a shower caddy Another thing I would recommend is a shower robe or a towel that like velcros like around your like body. That definitely helps so you can get undressed in your room, put your shower robe on, then go to the bathroom and you only have one thing to take off and put on when you're getting in and out of the shower. It definitely helps. It saves time, all that kind of stuff. And you don't want to risk dropping your stuff on the bathroom floor and none of that. So yeah, I would definitely recommend a shower robe or a towel that velcros around you. It's definitely very helpful. So I would definitely recommend that. So the last thing I would recommend is a shower cap. We have a specific place called Kimono Rooms where we can wash our hair. Where we're supposed to wash our hair. But, you know, some people don't and they wash it in the shower. But you're not supposed to, at least not in our college because... It'll clog up the drains, all that kind of stuff, especially if it's not like your natural hair. So I would definitely recommend a shower cap if you have a style going on that you don't want to mess up. But girl, we all had those. You don't want the humidity from the shower or the water. Mm, you don't want none of that touching your hair. So definitely, you know, bring a shower cap or something to cover your hair while you're in the shower so it can still be popping after you come out. So now we're gonna get into like the tips and tricks you need to know before sharing a bathroom with other people. Always clean up behind yourself. That should be a common sense thing, but not everybody knows that. Um, honestly, if you make a mess, just clean it up. It's all right, just clean it up. If everybody cleaned up behind themselves, the bathroom would be pretty much okay. Um, I know for us, we pretty much have cleaning ladies that clean pretty much every day or like every other day so it's pretty clean for the most part but it's just like let's do our part you know it shouldn't be their job to pick up random stuff off the ground like we should all be able to throw the trash in the trash can and if you miss let's pick it up and put it in there or you know just certain things like flushing the toilet not everybody knows that or everybody i don't know but yeah it would just help if everybody cleans up behind themselves so definitely do that so another tip, pro tip, 
take your shower either late at night or like midday that's when I used to take my showers and it usually wasn't pretty much anybody in there um, because people were either in class or like asleep um, late at night meaning past like midnight for the most part and like midday is midday like noon or something when people are at lunch or in classes all that kind of stuff, you kind of want to take a shower. In the mornings, for the most part, it's going to be packed because that's pretty much when everybody takes their shower. But I went around the system because I didn't have morning classes. So it just helped to take my shower right before my midday classes. The whole bathroom, free to myself. I could play whatever music I wanted to. <laughs> Another thing, everybody poops. I know it's not talked about, but it happens. It stinks yours too honestly i would just recommend bringing a spray or like poopery or something like that um because it helps to mask the smell a little bit i know it's not a subject everybody wants to talk about it's not the most interesting to talk about but it happens and it's a real thing the smell is actually a problem so definitely bring a spray or something or like Poopery is like the thing you spray before like you know do it or whatever but um yeah definitely had those on hand because somebody won't do that and then the whole bathroom will spill it's terrible like you never want to take a shower when somebody's like bombed the bathroom it's just it's not okay it just lingers in the hallways mm. okay we're done <laughs> another thing we have stalls in the back for Spellman um personally HH we had like the front stalls like right in the first like entryway but we also had stalls like in the back try to do your number two in the back don't do it in the front we don't want to smell it all in the hallway because the back ones it usually stays back in the back and like it doesn't linger all throughout the bathroom or all throughout the hallway so do that save your sisters from that smell okay the last and final tip don't forget your room key in your room. Bring your room key to the bathroom when you go, especially when you're showering. You and your roommate have different schedules for the most part, so she may be in and out of the room. Your roommate may have forgotten to get something, and while you were in the shower, she came in and left, and of course, she locked the door. And now you're locked out of your room. You have to call your RA. You have a lockout fee. You don't want any of that, so definitely bring your room key every time you leave out of your room, to be honest, but definitely when you're showering, and taking a long time in the bathroom. It's not cute to be stranded in your bath towel and your bonnet waiting for an RA that has a class. You don't want to have that problem occur. It happens more than you think, especially at the beginning of the school year. So definitely take my advice and avoid this situation. Take your room key. Don't get locked out, especially because you don't want to pay that fee. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Definitely stay tuned for all my other college videos and all my previous ones. I have so many. I'll link them in the iCards. And I have a whole playlist. Um, so definitely check them out. I love these college videos. I love doing them. I really like to help you guys. So definitely comment down below some video ideas for upcoming college videos. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I always comment back and all that kind of stuff. I love you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.